Hello, hello, hello. I'm back with another video. Hello, hello, hello. I'm back with another video. So, today we are going to make some paint with a twist canvas sketches or I don't want you know what you want to call them. Coloring, coloring canvas or paint canvas. I don't know what, what they call it, but that's what we're going to be doing. So, I purchased these one piece uh, canvas from Dollar Tree. I like this one better because it's thicker. And then it has like this back part. So, once you finish with it, if you want to hang it somewhere, it, it's easier to hang. So, I like these. Um, Dollar Tree do carry several different ones, but I like these and they're a dollar. So, let's get started. Okay. So, I have my canvas. And I have pre-printed um, my design for each canvas. I actually redone her, but I don't know if I'll, I'm going to do that. We'll see. I'll show y'all the ones I have. <clears throat> so I already printed the designs for each canvas that I'm going to be using and yeah so let's get into the video so now that I've placed my canvas there we're going to start with this lady here you want to make sure that you line her up exactly the way you want her on the canvas. And you can also see through the canvas. So I can see that her hair is up there. You can start it where you want to start it to make sure that or to ensure that everything is the way that you want it. So. As y'all can see, y'all can see through the canvas. And I have placed her on there. Nothing is hanging off. Just checking. And then I'm going to put her on this um, heat press. I have my paper from Dollar Tree. You can use a... Um, you can also use a uh, Teflon sheet. So I have this paper from Dollar Tree that I'm going to sit on top of her just to make sure. And then I also have the tap line sheet that I'm going to sit on top of that. I have my heat press set at 200. It doesn't need to be extremely hot because you don't want the um, black to pop so much anyways. So you can either apply pressure. You don't have to apply pressure, but you can apply pressure or not. And then we're just going to let it go for 10 seconds. So five, four, three, two, one. So I think I did 30 seconds, guys. But I'm just going to check the bottom of it. So it didn't come off. Okay, so it's still heating up. Let's let it heat up some more. And while it's heating up, I'm going to show y'all these that I done. So this is also a board that I bought from Dollar Tree. And this is a bigger board. Um, I think it's like a... I don't remember what size it was. But it's pretty big, as you all can see. Um... However, it's thin. I don't like the thin boards. I like the ones that's a little bit thicker. I wanted to show y'all this. As y'all can see, this side is glossy and shiny. So I used the A sub paper for this particular one. And it came off with the gloss. And as you can see, the little extra whatever that's on the A sub sheet. So I didn't really particularly like this one. I used on this side. I just used the regular plain sheet of paper, which I've shown y'all. This is a plain sheet of paper that I'm using, and it came off better. So, 
my recommendation is to use a plain sheet if you're going to sub on a canvas. And this is sublimation if I didn't say so. But I'm letting it heat up. I preheated my heat press to 381, but you can do 400. I'm just doing 381. And then I already have my uh, paper and the Teflon sheet on here. Just make sure my paper didn't move. And I'm going to press for 60 seconds. And you still want to apply pressure to it. So I'm going to press this for 60 seconds. Okay, and we're going to see how it's going to come. And y'all, this is okay that these um, canvas are cotton, just so you know. They are 100% natural cotton canvas. But it's fine because whatever you put on there, you want it to be lightly colored anyway. You don't want it to be uh, dark. So, it's perfectly fine. But I'm giving it one minute. And I'm going to pull up on it. I don't know why this time it ain't working for me. Maybe I got too much stuff on it. Uh, this one I traced this what happened I traced this one and she didn't come out too good when I was trying to make a stencil that's what happened so Okay, she was trying to come, but she didn't pop all the way out, and I kind of know why. And that's because this part right here doesn't have like a sturdy back piece or a firm back piece, so I'm adding a piece inside this so it could be hard. I add a piece of cork board inside of here, and then we're going to try that again. That way, when the um, stuff is pressing down, they have something to press down on. Just let me get another sheet. Cause I literally wasn't paying attention. Okay, so that's one. She don't look too bad. Try to do this one again. Let's see temperature is at 400 now this is what i did and it was only it wasn't at its right temperature so now that it's at its right temperature or the correct temperature we're gonna see i think that's been a minute Pull it up, see how it looks. She's 
She just don't want to come off right, y'all. She not, she not coming off good. And it could be because I used the same, um, I used the same, um, sheet of paper. I probably shouldn't have done that. But we gotta keep trying till we get that perfect one. Yeah. See how this one coming out. It's the middle pieces on this kind of canvas. It's not getting the correct amount of pressure because where the board is, it's better as y'all can see. But I think it's okay to um because they have to paint it at the end of the day. So. Yeah, I'm trying to get them a full minute only because I do know that this is cotton. See, that did better. This much better. Let's try another one. <laughs> 